today I'm working on the November Triple Earn Challenge and I'm really excited for this one because this month the idea is to plumb one of these urns and make it into a fountain inside this container. We have done a video kind of like this one in the past where I took a container and made a waterfall inside it. It was plumbed a little bit different than this one. If you want to check it out, you can watch it right here. To get started with this project, I went ahead and filled the container part of the way with soil. Then I need to create the reservoir for my fountain. And I just picked a big red Tupperware bowl just because it has a wide diameter here. And I'm thinking that if I place this right toward the center, that it will catch most of the water that's coming down the sides and most of the splatter so that we won't lose a whole bunch of water. So I'm not placing the bowl right dead center in the pot. I'm kind of backing it up toward the side here just because I think I'm gonna plant some taller stuff here and kind of graduate it down around the front of the fountain. That's the thought anyway. I think this will work kind of like this and I don't want it to be level with the sides of the container. I want it to be down just a little bit so I have room for rocks and other things. Then I'm gonna place my pump in the reservoir and this one is 180 gallons. Uh, it might be a little bit much, we'll see. I do have a restrictor that I can put over this tubing and clamp it down if the flow is a little bit too fast, but hopefully we won't need that. So I'm just gonna make sure that the cord of the pump goes out toward the back side of the container. And then I got a piece of metal grate. We have a junk pile down at our uh, nursery, which actually really isn't junk. It's stuff that we use a lot of. And I'm going to cut a hole right in the center and so I can get this tubing up. I'm just gonna cut a hole. Yeah. There. So I can feed the tubing right up through that hole. It's pretty close to center, not quite, but close enough. The reason why I'm putting the metal grate on the top is that it's strong enough to hold the urn up and keep it level. Um, in my other video where I did the waterfall, it's just full of rocks, the whole reservoir, because it is a waterfall. Um, and that worked for that one. But this one I need to have kind of a flat surface. So I'm just gonna feed the tubing up through the pot, like so, okay? And then I have this plumber's putty. This stuff is awesome. We use it all the time when there's a little bit too much space in the, left in the hole after we put the tubing through. It's what I use on my big fountain that I have in my backyard. Works out really nice. So I'm just gonna reach inside here and just pack it in around the tube. Before I cut my tubing, I'm just gonna put a couple of rocks down in here so that it holds the tubing straight up instead of going toward the side there. There, all right, now I'm gonna cut the tubing just about like an inch below the top of the urn, maybe. I'm gonna clippers. Or the wire cutters. That is the stuff made out of. There, success. Now I'm gonna fill up the reservoir and turn it on just for a minute, just so I can make sure it works before I start doing a whole bunch of stuff around it because it would be a huge pain to get this all planted and then realize that something's not working with the pump. So, water. Where did I put it? And turn it on. Ooh, I've deflected a lot. There, nope. It's about what I want right there. And you can mess with the rocks so that the water looks different coming out here. Whatever floats your boat. Yay. The sound is amazing. That's the best part of this whole project. I love fountains. I mean, check out the big one I have in my backyard. It needs a little maintenance, it looks like. <laughs> the front one that shoots out the water is constantly plugged. I don't know what's going on. Still worth it though, I love it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just plant it up. And that's the really fun part. I brought home a ton of different things to try, um, mostly cactus and succulents. So we'll see how it goes.
I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making this. I want to keep this forever like this, but I still have one triple earn challenge to do. We still have December to go. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. These spines do not hurt my hands. Those spines would hurt my hands. Soft, prickly, soft, mm-mm.